Hello there, and welcome to Alvarez's Diecast Customs. Now today we're going to be working on this Hot Wheels Ford Ranchero. It's a pretty cool looking car to begin with. Really not feeling the colour on it with that black paint and the decals. And the wheels really aren't doing it for me either. But otherwise it's a pretty cool casting. So let's have a closer look at it. Yeah, it's a pretty cool looking thing. As I said, not feeling the wheels. Got a blinding chrome base on the bottom of that. I'll be painting that again. Really not a fan of that. I've already taken the time to drill the posts out. I start off with a 2 mil drill bit and work up to a 5 mil to take the remaining piece of the post off. And I like to use my uh, 5 mil self-tapping screws to screw the base back on. It's all pretty standard. You can see how I've done this in my previous videos. The window piece is a weird brown colour. Won't be keeping that one with this build. I'll see if I can go about making my own out of a piece of clear plastic. And there's those wheels. I've already clipped them out. Just quickly ran a file through the channel where they sit. Again, you can see how I do this in some of my previous videos. I've just gone ahead and done most of the hard work little intricate things like that before I pull it all apart for you guys it tends to bore some people while they sit there and watch me doing it multiple times back to back there's that body so we have to go get that stripped but for the time being let's go I see our goddess Super Bochaco and see what she's got for us with these wheels so there's those things we won't be keeping them we'll just offer those up Oh, nice. Let's have a look at them. Cool. Ah, oh, very cool. Sort of classic steelies. They're definitely sort of what I've got a feeling for with this build. So I've already gone about stripping that paint, washed it off underneath a tap with an old toothbrush and scraped it off. It came off pretty easily. What you're left with is that, just the bare metal. Just going to go about tidying up some of the casting marks on this one. Had a few lines around the windows and on the roof and on the rear bed. Just tidy this all up. There we are. You can see all the marks where I've sanded it down. Really neatens up the edges. I'm just going to go about going over the entire thing with some emery paper. Just getting it ready for paint. Just go around the whole body with this. There we are. Everything's smoothed over all all over the body. It's all ready for paint now. Before that, I'm just going to do a bed cover on this one. So I've just got this off cut of plastic card, just offering it up and figuring out how I want to get it sized up. Just use a pair of scissors to cut it to shape. As you can see, I've already gone ahead and cut it to shape and just a little blob of super glue around the edges to stick it in. It's quite a snug fit small gaps around the two edges there that I'm going to have to fill up. So I'll be using this Vallejo plastic putty. Literally just use some offcuts of plastic card like a spatula. And just fill those gaps. It takes a while to dry this stuff fully, especially when you put quite a thick amount on it. So I let that dry and then I go about sanding it down afterwards. You can see I'm just working into any seams that may appear. Just trying to get a really good smooth finish on the edges. There we go. Let that dry off. And here it is after a bit of sanding and tidying up. You can see a nice smooth edge to it there. Yep, all good. Get that painted now. 
So I've gone over it initially with some Halfords Grey Primer out of a spray can, and then I went over this sort of jade metallic out of a spray can too. It was quite a classic looking color for it. I wanted to tone down the sort of street tuned version of the ranch arrow that Hot Wheels did initially. I want to go with more of a stock look. And there's that window piece that I'm going to go about trying to make up my own. It's what I'm going to be using in this clear plastic. As you can see, I've already marked out on the plastic the window. Basically, what I did is just place the plastic window onto it and went round it with a sharpie just to give me sort of a template to cut around. I just pick out some extra details on the chassis here. As you can see, I also painted the chassis in the body color because there is some body details on it. I always like to do that. It makes them stand out. Just go around painting the bumpers and the grills and some bits on the chassis as well. Also just did the door handles and the rear tail lights on the body too. And there's that chassis. You can see I've picked out some extra details on the base there. And with the interior I'll just be going over it with some Citadel flat white. Pretty standard sort of simple look to it. I just kept everything understated with this build. I also did a little patch of white on the base as well because you can actually see that through the footwell on the driver's side. I'm just going to be going over the interior with some Citadel Agrax Earthshade just to sort of tie everything in and make it look a bit more worn. There's our wheels. I've removed the tyres so I can go about painting them silver. That's done. Now I've already gone and clear coated the body. And there's our wheels. As I said, I painted in silver. I sort of went over them quickly with an Agrax Earth Shade. Very thin coat on that. There's the base that got a clear coat treatment too. There's the grill. As you can see, a bit of known oil from Citadel went into that just to give it a bit more depth. There's our interior. Not much done to that, to be honest. And our window piece that I cut out on the clear plastic, I used some small pieces of blue tack to stick it in. Didn't want to use super glue or anything because super glue tends to have a habit of making clear plastics go all foggy. If using the blue tack, at least I can remove the windows if I ever intend to pull this thing apart in the future. So there we go, just stuck it back all together. Before I reveal it, let's take a look at what we started with. So yeah, pretty cool looking Ranchero. Again, the colours just not really doing it for me. And the decals and that brown, orange, I don't know, horrible window that it came with. Not working. Anyway, here's what we ended up with. my attempt at sort of doing a stock looking version of one of these try to go with a classic color with it sort of with some nice classic wheels to tie it all together came out really nice in my opinion Let's take a closer look at it rolls quite nicely there if anyone's wondering those were m2 wheels from some m2 machines I bought a bunch off eBay a while ago and just stripped the wheels off of them. It's actually cheaper just to buy the cars themselves and tear them apart than it is to buy sort of custom wheels off eBay. It's much more affordable. Not only that, you also get a bunch of spare parts in the process of stripping these things down. So yeah, very happy with this one. A great clear coat on it again too nice and smooth. Let me know what you think down in the comments guys. Always appreciate any information or input. So to 
just take some more pictures of it under slightly different lighting conditions. It's a bit more realistic. So before we head off, let's go back to Super Boy Tracker and see what she's got for us next time. Oh, what's that? Let's take a closer look. Nice. That's a Hot Wheels Nissan 180SX. And the Forza Horizon 4 livery. Not a very good looking livery in my opinion, but very cool looking casting definitely looking forward to doing that next time anyway guys uh thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one bye for now <laughs>